to sit in the dark and have Tom Hanks tell you that he loves you just the way you are. <laughs> you know, there's something that matters. Yeah. Hello, Nampa. So good to see you again today. A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood stars Tom Hanks as the beloved children's TV host Fred Rogers. It also pays homage to his message of kindness. Marielle Heller is the film's director and she's here with me now. Thanks for coming by. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, so to be clear, this is not a biopic. <laughs> right. Want, put that out I there. I am being yes. very clear about that in my <laughs> press, yes. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? There was an incredibly beautiful documentary that came out last year called yes. Won't You Be My Neighbor about Mr. Rogers. And this movie has actually been in the works long before that documentary even came out, but Mr. Rogers wouldn't make a great protagonist of a movie. He is as good as we think he is. He is a good, evolved human who just can't go through that major life. Yeah. He's already there, mm -hmm. but he makes a great antagonist. This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? Our way into the story really is this cynical journalist who's played by Matthew Reese, who's based on a real guy named Tom Juno, who wrote an article for Esquire magazine mm -hmm. in 1998. You get to recreate the land of make-believe. It felt like a great responsibility and privilege to get to recreate both the neighborhood, the land of make-believe, and we filmed in Pittsburgh, in Mr. Rogers' hometown. We actually filmed in the studio where he filmed the original show, and we recreated everything meticulously. The set is exactly the blueprint that from 1968, what they built it from, we built it identically, down to like details that crew members from the original show would come and see our set and be like, oh my God, I can't believe you even knew about that. But we did it from a place of love. We did it because we wanted to, to show real respect for the show and we wanted fans of the show to be able to watch the movie and feel like they were transported back in time to when they were watching that show. One of the most exciting moments for me personally was we rebuilt the trolley exactly how they did it and it actually ran. And so just recreating the set and then the first time the trolley actually drove through was like, oh my gosh, it was so exciting. <laughs> did it work every time? Or it did work every time. They built a beautiful trolley and it, we had a guy <laughs> whose whole job was just running the trolley. and. It was always fun to call. Okay, trolley, action. Please won't you be my neighbor. So I love yeah. watching Mr. Rogers and I did a lot of my research with my kid on my lap. Going back to his show, it felt wonderful. I was reminded of how much more ahead of its time it was than I realized even as a kid, yeah. you know, that he yeah. was really dealing with tough subject matter and doing it in a really amazing way. And you just realize how amazing he was. Yeah. There was always something you can do with the mad that you feel. Is there a danger in lionizing someone like that? I think it's easy to think that somehow Mr. Rogers must have been light and only thinking about, only smiling or thinking about the positive parts of life, but that's not true at all. He was somebody who really dealt with the hardest subjects of life. He had a, a phrase that he said, which was anything that's mentionable is manageable. It's important to understand that he was a human, and I think part of what we show within this movie through this relationship between these two men is the complexities of Mr. Rogers. Um, not that he had a dark side, but that he was a human, that he was struggling, that he felt the pain of the world very deeply. You love broken people like me. Times we have to ask for help, and that's okay. And it's special to see Tom Hanks just really embody this character. What was it like seeing him undergo that transformation, you know, putting on the cardigan, yeah. taking off the shoes? You know, part of what we really tried to do was erase the space between him and us as an audience member. We viewed this as a, an episode of Mr. Rogers for adults. And part of that was about creating a character with Tom where there's no distance between him and us. So it was not about prosthetics or making him look just like Mr. Rogers or do an imitation. Sure. Which is why I actually really think this is a movie that I hope people will see in the theaters. I think it's a special experience to see it in the theaters, to sit in the dark and have Tom Hanks tell you that he loves you just the way you are. <laughs> you know, there's something that matters. Yeah. Why is that message of kindness so important right now? I think we're living in really tumultuous times and we feel very divided and it feels often like we have very few role models right now. I think many of us feel like, where are the grown-ups? Where are the people guiding us? Where are our leaders? And as a parent, I know I struggle for how do I teach my kid how to be a good kid within the world. Because of that, Mr. Rogers has felt like such a guide for so many of us. We are trying to give the world positive ways of dealing with their feelings. Yeah. 
Like what? Being a, a woman in the director's chair, Hollywood has been talking about this a lot yeah. lately, about getting more women yeah. Getting more women all, you know, behind the camera, in front of the camera, mm -hmm. better roles. What's the one thing that, that really needs to change in the industry? I think there are a million things that need to change and I have my own ideas about how we need to change this industry. One of the things that I'm fighting for and I fought for on this movie was um, a concept called French Hours, which is shooting shorter hours where you don't take a lunch break and you push through and you shoot the entire day. For me as a parent, that makes this life more sustainable and I believe it's one way to get more women behind the camera is if we don't have these totally unsustainable lives where we work 16 to 18 hour days. When I made this movie, I said, Fred Rogers would have never wanted us to make a movie about him where we had to abandon our children in order to make this movie. So let's figure out another way. You know, most days we were filming seven to five or eight to six, 10 hour straight day. I got home to put my kid to bed, I'd say three days out of the week. And that's the difference between me being able to keep making movies and not. Why do so many women drop out of the workforce at this age in our late 30s, early 40s? Well, often it's because we're raising kids. So let's be honest about that. We've pretended for many generations that we are not trying to do everything, but we are trying to do everything. Or it becomes a choice. You either or it get becomes to have a choice. one and not the other. Right, so how yeah. do we talk about this in a more honest way? I am sure a lot of people roll their eyes at me as I go along when I tell them, no, I leave edit at five. I'm a mom, I go home and I put my kid to bed. Mm -hmm. This is what I do, it doesn't mean I'm not committed to my job, I come in, I kill it. I work as hard as I can, I work through lunch, I'm efficient, I go home. These are the ways that I personally am trying to also show other people who are working on my projects. I want you to go home and be with your family. I want us to all have lives. I don't want this to be the type of thing that we sacrifice being a human in order to make art because it doesn't make any sense. We're making art about yeah. being people. We have to have our lives. The more women who are making movies, the more non-binary people, the more people who are coming from different diverse perspectives, the more it will continue to happen. Audiences clearly love it. So step by step. Yeah, baby steps. Thank you so much for coming by. My pleasure. And A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is in theaters November 22nd.